All right, guys, we're just a couple days away from season here in Illinois. It's the very end of September, almost beginning of October. And today I want to show you real quick how to do a scrape. This is how I do my scrapes. I've had tremendous success with it in the years past. And basically I'm just going to walk you through a step-by-step -step from scratch all the way to the finished product here. So to start with here, as you can see behind me, I've actually came in with a bush hog about two weeks ago and went ahead and knocked out all the briars and everything that was underneath of there, underneath the tree where I want to hang my scrape branch. And what I'm using is the white pine branches. Those are the ones that I've had the best success with in the past. Last year, if you remember, I did a comparison video between a white pine branch and a cedar branch side by side. And I did a comparison over two to three months, something like that. And there was no comparison. It was white pine probably 85-90% of the time versus the cedar. Not saying that cedar doesn't work, but I've noticed that the white pine branches, they typically tend to prefer those more than the cedar. They like to nibble on the pine needles and they actually like, I feel like they like the softness of the pine needles versus the cedar, which is a lot more coarse. That's just my experience, but anyways, I'm gonna show you today how I set this all up. So the first thing is, we've got the tree branch. It's about six foot tall, eight foot tall, something like that off the ground. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach this white pine branch to the actual tree limb. The part that has more thickness to it, so it's gonna make sure it holds. Because one thing you gotta remember, a lot of times these deer will jump up on their hind legs and try to break down the branch. So the more stable you can make it, the better. So we're gonna go ahead and get started now. You can trust me whenever I say you want to attach these really well because these deer will jump up and try to knock down, bring down these branches. So now we're going to get to actually the ground area and make the actual scrape. Now all I need here is a steel rake and basically I like about a three foot or four foot by three foot or four foot area. And I'm just going to rake this stuff back, break it all up, get it down the bare dirt. And then I'm going to urinate in it. And we'll hang a trail camera we'll be ready to go. The reason why I like it bigger is it's more visible. It's more of a drawing power. They'll, they'll see it a lot easier. And... I just had really good luck making them a little bit bigger than normal. You know, typical deer scrapes. I mean, they all range in size, obviously, but uh, the vast majority you see are, you know, two foot by two foot, maybe a foot by foot. All right, guys, all finished up. As you can see, scrapes on the ground. Back up so you can see it more. White pines there, about belly button high. And we've got Tacticam Reveal. That's the X-Pro, so I get a picture and a video overlooking it. So on to the next one. Hopefully that's a good little tip for you guys making your own scrapes. It won't be long and they're gonna be really tearing these up. So get out there and get after it. <laughs> 